Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about Ather Testnet Node Setup Complete Guide. In this video I will show you in case if you have Ather Nodes, how to set it up and run on Testnet and that too without any VPS cost. So everything will be covered in this video, watch this video till end. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or questions, leave them in the comments below. So let's begin the video guys. So guys, if you're following my channel, I already posted a couple of videos about Ather. So in case if you purchase the node, you can run the testnet, uh, uh, run that node on testnet right now. And that could be some kind of a drop multiplayer on the mainnet. So maybe it could be a multiplayer. And this is only for the users who have purchased the Ather nodes during the sale. So this is not for everyone, only for the node holders. But in case if you don't have any node, if you don't want to invest any money into Ather, then you can participate in ether cloud drop it is totally free of cost a drop so i made a detailed guide about this two days ago you can go check out that video and participate in that and then maybe you might get some small amount of a drop without any investment so now i'll show you how you can run and uh, set up and run ether node on testnet that too free of cost in just two to three minutes so let's start first thing you need to go to the ether dashboard so just click on connect wallet connect your wallet in which you hold the ether nodes so once you connect you need to switch the network to orbitrum testnet so just switch the network once you switch you need to do a sign in transaction and then you will be logged in in the left side tab you will see a license dashboard here you can see your licenses you can see on testnet i got one license so another important thing is even if you made a purchase of 5 to 10 nfts or multiple nfts in the testnet you will be able to see only one nft but when the mainnet is launched you will be able to access all your nodes which are available in the wallet which you purchase so on testnet everybody will get one license each so now let's go back to the dashboard now i'll tell you how you can run this license and set up the node so first thing you need to go to ether uh, faucet uh, sorry orbitrum faucet copy your wallet paste your address and send ethereum so you'll get some test ethereum on orbitrum testnet now we will be using node ops so node ops is a node as a service provider so in this platform you can run any node which is available with just a single click by making a payment so that's all so you need not uh, do any coding you need not purchase any vps you need not maintain you need not upgrade the nodes all this will be taken care by node ops so now they have recently went live with ether testnet and that too free of cost uh, other nodes will cost you some uh, premium for every month but ether node as it is in testnet node ops is not charging any fee so now i'll tell you how to do that so just click on sign in the left button enter your email id continue enter the otp you received in email and confirm that's all now we have logged in so uh, now we can click on deploy node on the left side you can see ether just select on ether and now scroll down so you have to select additional details here you can see checker node and now you have to connect the metamask wallet here connect the wallet in which you have the nodes then you can click on fetch nfts once you do that you can see i got one nft and one month subscription is zero dollars so i can click on pay zero dollars it'll take me to the payment page i need to enter the name and email id click on wallet i'll select polygon and uh, select matic and click on connect wallet i'll connect the wallet and do a single transaction which is of no cost but it'll co cost a small amount of gas fees to do the uh, registration just click on confirm and that's all our transaction is successful so now you can see our uh, uh, ether node is uh, 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 deployed now we can delegate the wallet address to our uh, uh, dashboard so now click on that copy the wallet address go to the dashboard click on license here you will see a delegate button click on that paste the wallet address you copied click on delegate and complete the transaction in testnet that's all once that is done your wallet uh, node is de de uh, delegated now you can come back to the node ops and see it is running successfully and you can see the node license key as well so that's all guys that's how simple it is to run a node through node ops and you can also explore other nodes which are available on node ops uh, but it will be little costlier compared to vps but they will take care of everything setting up the node deploying and maintenance and upgrades so now you can see i was able to farm 3700 tokens in three days these are not having any actual value but maybe running a node on testnet might give a booster to us during the mainnet launch so now that's all guys that's about today's video about ether testnet node if you don't want to spend any money you can watch my day before yesterday's video and join in ether cloud drop for free of cost so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind